<laughs> uh, or is it on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, goodness. Um, well, I'm Lisette Messing, um, Alec Messing's mom. <laughs> I'm Michael Messing, Alec Messing's dad, and uh, very proud of him. Um, we've been working with him for, it's probably been about two years. Um, it's been a set, he had a second year of football this last season, and he's just absolutely remarkable. And we've just enjoyed uh, just watching him kick. It's something that he obviously loves to do, and we I can't tell you how amazing it is to watch him and see him do what he does. Well, it's what's been more amazing for me um, is just to see the, his natural talent develop. I mean, this is. It's been his uh, second year in football, so we didn't really know what his strengths, his weaknesses were, and just to find out, first of all, that he loves kicking and that he's good at it, and to see him just develop nice. it, just from one season to the next, and it's just, it's natural. I mean, sure, there's pointers and tips and he's gonna get better, but it's just the natural raw talent. I mean, he's, Iron Leg Messing. I mean, you know, that's his nickname. Yeah. <laughs> What's his uh, nickname? Iron, Iron Leg. Iron Leg Messing. Iron Leg Iron Messing. Leg. Iron yeah. Leg. In fact, I mean, we, we actually um, purchased a website on GoDaddy that's um, ironlegmessing.com. And eventually, when we get our things together, we'll actually have something <laughs> on the website. Yes. But um, I think the most amazing um, game he had last year was a first playoff game. I tell people this all the time. Um, one of his coaches from his previous team uh, had come out uh, to see him play. He finally was able to come out to see him play and it meant so much to us to have him there. And there was just two plays that he witnessed through the whole game that were the most significant that just happened right in a row. And uh, the first was that he made a 35 yard field goal from an angle uh, to score, you know, three points for a field it was goal. Beautiful. It was amazing. The, the coaches beautiful. were just like jumping up and down, couldn't believe it. It was exciting <laughs> as heck because he's only 13 years old. And um, the next uh, play, he does the kickoffs. So he did the kickoff and uh, had a wonderful kickoff, probably kicked it down about the 10 yard line. And uh, their team was returning it. And one of Alec's teammates tackled the player and he fumbled, the player had fumbled the ball and Alec ended up recovering the fumble. And uh, to see that happen, uh, aside his kicking, uh, that was just the most remarkable thing. And I remember speaking to his coach uh, and going, did you see that, did you see that? And his coach just said, I cannot even believe how amazing uh, he has changed from just last season. So anyhow, it's, it's just amazing to see him. The interesting, the interesting thing about um, Alec is, you know, we've just, we've never really talked to him about the fact that he has autism. Um, he goes to a special needs school and which has been amazing for him um, that uh, is in the valley called the help group he goes to a school called Bridgeport now and they are remarkable and they the difference between him now and uh, where he was when he first started there a few years ago is dramatic but he he's not aware of the fact that he has autism does it say special needs school does he ever say, well, why did they have a special needs school? Why am I here? Well, he, just, he, he just is there. You know what? He, He's, he always rolls with the punches. Well, and not only that, but ever since he started school, he's always had a AAA, which is, is the, like a personal assistant. He's always been in smaller classrooms. We've always had people come into the house for different therapies. And so he that's all he's ever known since since he can remember is people working with him in different facets for different things and so he's never really questioned why and if he did what would you say would you then tell him if he well, had at, the at this at this well he didn't really ask it before so it wasn't something that we needed to do but now um, at, at actually at this point he's starting to question well why can't I play football for this high school and the, the conversation has gradually been getting into well that homework is too hard for you because he can understand that he can understand I can't do the homework well now that's leading to now that he understands that and is internalizing it now we can move from there and say well the reason why you have a harder time with the homework is because of the autism. 
because uh, autism, there's a huge spectrum. You know, some kids don't exactly. have the ability to speak or communicate like you would would uh, want them to. Right. Where he is very social, he has the ability um, uh, to be social and speaks very well and communicates very well. Um, there are other intricacies of autism that he has and, and demonstrates. Um, but I think most people that would come across him probably, unless they were really aware of autism, would even know. They wouldn't even know that he had it. So, so as far as him, I, I think he realized he goes to a special needs school, but I don't think he necessarily sees him as himself as being special needs. He would see it as more of a big deal because he's understanding that it's hindering him going to the school he wants to play football. You know, we've, we've told him that, look, everybody's different. You know, your sister's gifted at some things, you're gifted at kicking, and you know, you all have your strengths, we all have our weaknesses, and your weakness is learning. That's one of your difficulties. And we're trying to do as much as we can to, to help you and bring it up, but it is, it is a situation that you have, and it is preventing you from playing here right now. But as parents, um, I will tell you that we want to do whatever we possibly can to make it possible for him to play football in high school. That means a tremendous amount to us. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be happening all, all the time. He's, he's wanting to watch you play, Alec. You can't, you can't blame him for that. Make sure you go to an angle right. Go to an angle right. Go straight toward it. Straight toward it, Alec. Nice kick. Beautiful. All right. That was a 40-yard field goal right there. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Alexis, I need you to retrieve balls. <laughs>